Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tom Nato. Um, I'm from Red Hat. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you briefly. I've got a rapid five minutes to uh, go through a couple of things. Um, so what I'd like to focus today on is a bit of um, sort of the telco service provider perspective on open source. Um, tomorrow, we're actually doing a tutorial, a full-length tutorial with a lot of the technical details uh, kind of surrounding what's driving this for us. Uh, so I'll leave that until tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I apologize. I had a sore throat all last week, so I'm a little, <coughs> little coffee here. Um, so, so I wanted to ask this sort of fundamental question about, you know, what is driving communi communication service providers uh, drive for open source and open source networking and um, this whole thing? Um, and you know this this statement I have up on the screen right now is basically the you know the the sort of the driving statement right so CSPs um, are being driven uh, you know from demand for new digital goods and services um, you know streaming video streaming audio um, mobile 5G uh, use cases um, and those are what are driving us in the open source community to develop these uh, these solutions with them um, and then. Let's talk about how those solutions are being driven and what it takes uh, to actually make those things happen. So um, you're at an open source conference, Linux Foundation uh, conference, so community is obviously important uh, in these solutions. Um, what people forget, though, is that beyond the, the developer community, you need larger communities of, of uh, sort of the support that goes around that. Uh, for example, uh, OPNV is a good example where there isn't a whole lot of code being developed, but there's a very important uh, mission and purpose for that organization, and a lot of that is forming an ecosystem, um, <clears throat> as was discussed earlier. And that also includes other open source projects uh, in addition to um, the, the one in question. Um, and the point of that, too, was that these are all uh, things that are wrapped around the technology. There's a lot of uh, focus at these conferences about the technology. So it's not just about the technology, but the community, uh, and beyond that, the, the ecosystem. So I wanted to put up a quick example of, of the projects that uh, we're involved in uh, and why they matter uh, in that vein. Um, you know, you'll hear a lot about you know, you heard about Open Daylight, uh, OPNIV today, FDIO, a uh, brand new one we've just started, got involved with. Uh, it's called Acrano. Uh, that's for uh, edge uh, type of use cases. Um, so these are, you know, these are projects that, again, <clears throat> not only form the technology and the community, but the ecosystem that's built around that. Um, and then to kind of wrap things up, um, one of, the, one of the points I wanted to make, too, is, is that building an ecosystem requires um, a couple of things that are important uh, in terms of telco transformation, telco service provider transformation. And those are outlined here on the slide. Um, one is you know, changing the mindset internally. Uh, there's a cultural change that, that often is required. Um, there's an uh, open infrastructure uh, and an open tools uh, sort of uh, transformation that has to happen. And you've seen that at a lot of companies today. Uh, AT&T, for example, is, is kind of the poster child for this these days. Um, you know, they're out working in projects, building projects, <coughs> for example. Um, but then, you know, you, if you talk to the, the, the most successful telco service providers uh, that are in this space these days, you'll see that they're actually transforming internally to look much like you know, the, the sort of canonical example of the open source uh, organization, say Red Hat, for example. And so, you know, that goes hand in hand with <clears throat> the usual development stuff that you all see when you come to these conferences and whatnot. So there's an internal transformation that has to happen. Uh, and then finally around that is, is basically just an open process. And so you'll see varying uh, degrees of that uh, in any of... Uh, any telco service provider you talk to. And those are things that are ongoing, and they're interesting um, and, and important to keep in mind when you're engaging uh, with folks both upstream and downstream. Uh, and I think that's all the time I have. So thank you very much.